here we are, and this is farm life. Uh, things are often just not scheduled. We came out to an unscheduled collapse of this fence. Hey, normally our fences are way better than this, but we're scrambling on every area of this property to try and get the fences secured. And this was the next one to be replaced. Well, with a little nudge from the horses, we're now replacing it. And uh, so what we've got, we've got a post hole logger coming for the John Deere, but we can't wait for that. And so son Kyler ran into town this morning and we're trying something brand new. I had actually never seen one of these. It's called a one man post hole logger. We're gonna fire it up and see if it works. Before we fire it up, we really need to get the thing unloaded. So hang in there with us. We're gonna unload this and uh, this will be my first ever demonstration of a one-man post hole logger, that's for sure. Here we go. Well, there we have it. We don't need the holes dug too deep. Clearly the soil is conducive for a one uh, uh, man operation on that auger. We'll keep you posted as we make progress. Now, while we're at it here, one of the things we're doing is carving out a niche for a burn pit. Uh, there's always stuff that has to be destroyed and so we're going to build a burn pit over the course of the summer and then in the winter or late fall when it's completely safe. So between where I am and where Kyler is digging post holes right now, uh, you can't see it very clearly but it's marked out with orange paint, there's going to be a bit of a burn pit. So what we're doing here is we're replacing this broken fence by carving out a niche in the fence line about 50 by 40 feet. Uh, we'll keep you focused. That's how it's done. And then with the uh, a little bit of tamping, 
uh, with the crowbar as we level them. And uh, wow, I again, I just can't believe the difference in this ground and how friendly it is uh, to fence posts. We're getting them in about two and a half feet. Uh, so uh, thanks to that little one man auger, which uh, interestingly, let's just take a little stroll over to that. So of course, all of this fence is coming out of here that building is being scrapped and destroyed. It'll and, uh, find its way over into that bright blue bin over there. But this is just a totally ingenious little unit. And I apologize, we've got a little bit of wind noise going on here in addition to everything else. But apparently the uh, owners of the uh, uh, rental company that we got this from designed and built one of these for themselves and then made a few modifications along the way. And uh, it just worked wonderfully for this application. What we've got here is that uh, engine mount uh, pivots. So it, it keeps that engine level. Uh, this wheel over on the left-hand side is a drive wheel. Uh, which is great for moving this around on level ground without having the operator uh, needing to uh, come up with some extra pushing power. The auger uh, uh, swings up out of the way for transport. Then it releases with this pin to hang straight down. But there's more. This little bracket assembly and... Uh, uh, tensioning uh, uh, mechanism allows a horizontal movement, meaning this movement here, for the auger. So if we were working on a side hill, those wheels could be on a side hill and the operator, by just moving this left to right, up and down, can end up with a drill bit still getting a straight down uh, angle into the earth so that the fence post is completely level when uh, uh, finally positioned or the post hole, starting with the post hole, is going to be uh, uh, true vertical. So uh, pretty nifty, uh, no clutch to uh, uh, cause grief for slipping belts. It's all done with a little hydraulic motor here uh, coming off that uh, little Briggs and Stratton mounted pump. I just love practical engineering. Don't know if these uh, uh, folks came up with the idea themselves, but uh, wow, it's a good one.